Hi, sometimes you'll hear some social justice warrior or feminist proclaim that it's unfair that men don't get called sluts. It seems to only apply to women. So here then are some reasons uh, why this might be the case. So first of all, number one, a promiscuous men get their own labels such as womanizer, philandra, love rat, etc. So there are uh, equivalent terms to uh, slut applied to men. Uh, they're just not the word slut. It's obviously a gendered type of word. Uh, two, possibly because humans are a naturally polygynous species. So men uh, have a larger and stronger body build, which indicates male-male competition for female mates, which indicates an imbalance in the supply of females to males. So there's some men that get more uh, mates than other men. And apart from the sexual dynamorphism, that is the difference in the body size, uh, there's also that humans have a sort of relatively uh, smaller testicles and this is kind of similar to or indicative of the condition we see in gorillas where gorillas have these sort of harems so one male gorilla um, the alpha male he will have uh, numerous female mates so in a way being a slut um, is a sort of a natural thing for for men three a man can't cuckold a woman so a promiscuous woman can trick a man into raising another man's child. Uh, typically she'll have mated with a good provider and then she will uh, attempt to covertly mate with a more alpha male and then have the provider male, the beta male, uh, raise the child as his own. Uh, of course, no man can do this, can pull this trick off. A woman knows her children are always biologically hers. Number four, there's a huge difference in the sex ratio, which means basically that there's a very high supply of available men to sexually available uh, women. Uh, most women are beyond, uh, presently anyway, are beyond reproductive age. Uh, they're not particularly uh, sexually attractive to men. Uh, women only are sexually receptive for a few days of the month. Uh, women are much more likely to select mates on the basis of, of status. Uh, they want alpha males, whereas men are much less interested in social status. They'll, they will mate down. Women tend to mate up and, and men will mate down. So consequently as well, only a few alpha males get to do a lot of the sleeping around, whereas any woman can easily sleep around. And it follows uh, from all of this that there are plenty of men who don't get any sexual interest from women because their, their status is considered too low, perhaps they're too fat or ugly, or whatever else it, it is that uh, repels women. So it really, for the average male, being a slut or being promiscuous is not a practical option. It, it, it just doesn't tend to happen. Uh, being a slut is a, is a thing that is mostly what women can do uh, because they have much greater sexual options. Five, promiscuous women tend to be emotionally damaged. It's the case that women who sleep around tend to come from father absent households. And women that come from father absent ha households are 92% uh, more likely to divorce than daughters of two parent families. Uh, they're more likely to become teenage mums, they're more likely to use drugs, they're less empathic and less comfortable with men. Uh, they can easily be taken in by men who promise a lot but deliver little. They're more likely to get pregnant to keep a man, they're more likely to search for a love high to fill the void of the absent father, and they're more likely to have children with multiple men. So um, there's a whole lot of other negatives associated with female promiscuity. Uh, and essentially, sluts are damaged goods emotionally. Number six, slut shaming is really more of a woman thing than a man thing. So historically, uh, promiscuous women threatened the security of marriages uh, and therefore the provisioning of uh, male to female. And uh, when promiscuous women had illegitimate children by married men, uh, then the inheritance was divided, damaging the interests of any of the legitimate children. 
But of course, with the decline of marriage and the option of women working or receiving welfare, this is less of an issue, but uh, still, it, it's still there. And uh, I guess, therefore, uh, slut shaming will also continue to be a thing that, that women do because they, they feel that their security is challenged. Finally, there's a sort of difference in the way we shame men over the way we shame women because of perhaps um, all of the above and various other issues. For example, women uh, don't get called bastards. That's a, a thing that is directed at men only. Men also get called sissies and other similar um, things, wet and, and so on and so forth to indicate that they're um, weak as males and either you know um, damaged goods or... Or, or pathetic and so on and so forth so there, there's other kinds of disparities in in how we uh, shame gender uh, culturally so in conclusion there are differences in our social views of promiscuity in men and women that reflect asymmetrical uh, biological and social conditions thanks for listening and i hope you found that informative please do subscribe if you'd like to hear more programs like this thank you